Hey guys, it's Icy Near, and I'm back with more Rogue Legacy, where we're gonna kick some ass. Uh, we have a ton of money from our last one, because we killed the boss. Spoiler alert, BT Dubs, if you missed the last one. So, let's see, we've got a Paladin with OCD, Miner with Ectomorph, Nostalgia, Giganticism, and Ivy. You know, we're going with the Paladin, just because I don't like having Giganticism or uh, the Ecto, whatever it's called. So, we're going to start out by actually going in here and seeing if we have more equipment to buy, because I can't remember. We do. We have a chest plate to buy. Grab that. Oh, we can't equip it yet, though, because we need to up our equipment load. So, let's go do that. Up that equipment load a little bit. We'll spend three upgrades there. I think that should be enough to get it. Put on our chest plate. There we go. We can put on our chest plate now, and we have 2,417 to spend away, which I'm super excited about. We are going to spend that on the Lich. Lich King! And, um, we can't buy the upgrades. Let's get a couple upgrades to our attack and an upgrade to our health. That should do it. 252 gold that we can't... Oh, I think we can use that to upgrade our mana one to... Nope. No more upgrades. How much is the next rune here? I really want that balance rune, but I'd need a vault rune, or a the speed rune on something else before I'd be willing to do that. So I can't wait to play as a Lich. Liches are one of my favorite classes. In my last playthrough, they kind of fell off a little late game, but for just exploring the map and rocking out, it was awesome. So yeah, now we're getting 11 gold per um, coin, and wow, we're one-shotting paintings as a paladin, which is very good since paintings are one of my least favorite things to deal with. I cannot stand those enemies. Let's go ahead and clear out this room real quick. And we're going to be working our way as rightwards as possible to try to get to the forest. Oh, that was dumb. There we go. Moving through, moving through. Let's grab a bit more. And I really need to start remembering to use my uh, class ability, especially since I'm OCD. And I get... Oh, I see you, sneaky, sneaky chest. There you are. Sneaky, sneaky. And I get mana back just for killing uh, or breaking items. So we're going to jump down here. I am not excited about this room. Let's take a look. We're actually going to kill this ghastly and then get out. Spikes are probably the thing in this game I've taken the most damage off of. Awesome. Already in the forest. That's fantastic. And I believe we went down to that room we we completely wussed out in. Um, I believe that would lead us to the entrance to the forest, which would have all our health goodies, which we may have to try and find. Oh, I swear that, like, that's not my bad. I feel like sometimes you just don't bounce. Like, the that's the only complaint I have control-wise in this game, is that the down jump feels very unresponsive. And paladin our way through this. We really need to start remembering to use our class ability, or at the very least, some magic. I hate those tower guard guys. And I see a wolf coming... Wow, that was intensely well done. And, oh, my prayers are answered. A fountain where we can restore some life. And, no. I'm real bad at those rooms. We're not even going to try it. All that's going to happen is I'm not going to get the fairy chest. And I'm going to take a bunch of damage. So we're not even going to try it. We're just going to head on out. And I feel like there's going to be a safer way to get up there. So we're going to go around this way. And, oh, another fountain. The game is being all kinds of good to us lately. I'm pretty sure, nope, can't get up high, or can't get that low enough to hurt him. And I don't know, I feel like he's going to try to make it through there. And we, I'm really surprised we didn't take damage there. That kind of blew my mind. And we're doing good. We have almost a thousand gold. Damn, didn't notice that just suddenly noticed oh that was dumb damage okay we we'll at least get through and we have found the boss room 
which means two chests, always good. And one of them is the silver helm. Helm upgrade sounds pretty tasty to me. We're just gonna take a peek around real quick. Take some real dumb damage. There's wolves. Ah, oh, not only was that dumb damage, that was a dumb death. So let's just load up, pick who we want to be next. I cannot stand Vertigo. We will never do one with Vertigo. We're gonna play the Shinobi. We have Etic Memory and Giganticism. I normally don't like playing characters with Giganticism, but we'll get over it. And we have enough to upgrade the Shinobi into Hokage, which I'm pretty sure I'm saying wrong. But, oh, almost enough for armor up. Okay, we'll grab a little more magic damage up. Why not? I should have saved that for equipment. Got that silver helm. We have the blade wall, and that's the Hokage ability. It shoots you forward and you turn into a log, or you leave a log behind where you were. It's pretty cool. Um, it has, like, I always forget to use it effectively, and... I was gonna say that the distance you move is somewhat unpredictable, but that's not true at all. Oh, wow, got wrecked in that room. That was not a good room for us. That's really not true. I'm just bad at uh, guesstimating how much how, the distance I'm gonna move. So we're gonna real slowly, real carefully. You might even say tactile, tactile. Tactfully? Tactically. There's the word I'm looking for. That took way too long. Work our way through this room. As the Hokage, we practically one-shot everything. And I gotta remember, with the Edic Memory, I always forget that I can look at my map and see where absolutely all the enemies are. Which really can make a difference. And in here, we can't get the gold, but we can at least kill these guys. Which is going to make any return trip we have to make a lot easier. And found ourselves a diary entry. Although I'm the eldest child, I am not my father's favorite. I have always known he planned to leave me with nothing. But if I find the cure, everything will change. The victor will earn nothing less than the throne upon his passing. Upon my ascension, my wife and my child shall move back into the royal quarters. Back to the royal city, where we once again will be treated with the respect we deserve. No longer will we stand for the gossip and petty slander of my cousins. The other duke shall bow as we pass. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I must keep my priorities clear. Conquer the castle, find the cure, collect my reward. Save uh, the cheerleader, save the world. That's basically what I got out of that. We have to save a cheerleader, and then the world will be ours. Save the cheerleader, rule the world? I would have watched that show. Okay, so there's one more enemy up there. Is that a... Well, it's standing still, so I'm pretty sure that that's going to be... Oh, a zombie. I like that Edic Memory lets you remember where things are before you ever see them. Much like the way a real... Oh, good memory works. I remember the future. Okay, so we're not doing well on health. And... But we're doing uh, okay on gold. I mean, I'd like to have a lot more gold. But, I mean, you can't always just, you know, be like, I want more gold, please. And the game's like, okay, here it is. And that brings us to the Maya, which we are going to be leaving. I kind of lost track, like, sight of the fact that I'm supposed to be going towards the right. So, let's go back to that plan. I just kind of ignored the fact that my original plan was find the forest. So we're getting back on track with that. We're gonna find the forest. I will take the axe over the blade wall. I'm just not very good at using the blade wall. And I really like the axe. So I'm not gonna go down there. I have trouble with that room. And I'd rather not put myself in a position where I have to be in that room longer than I would. Absolutely am forced to be. Got ourselves a chicken leg. That is fantastic. And what do we have up here? Nothing. I feel like there is something hidden up here. I just don't know how to get it. But we'll head on. You win, game. You obviously don't want us to go in that room. So we won't. And that is what I meant about the Hokage ability. I constantly do that, where I miscalculate how far I'm gonna go. And just, like, pop up right on... Um, attacks. And there we go. Another chicken leg. 
And we are in the forest. Fantastic. These tall guards are super frustrating. That did not work out well for us. And there's a slime coming who is going to try and troll us hard. But no, we're not going to let that happen. We're going to leave. And we're going to check out this room real quick. And right into explosives. Ouch. Guys, I'm still trying to decide whether I should be doing one longer episode or two shorter episodes. We're going to do a Barbarian King here. Um, and we're going to pump up our health by two. Ah, oh, once again, I should have grabbed that silver helm. I keep forgetting that. I really need to start investing in armor. That is one big one. So, here we are. We have... I forgot to really look at his stats. Sir Kaima. And we have... Ambivalus. I'm glad I double-checked that. That basically makes spells... Oops. Wrong button come out from behind us, which can be a good thing, especially actually on the final boss, as you're running away from him. You can shoot stuff at him as he chases you, which is one way I cheesily beat him. Um, or at least one form of him. But we're getting ahead of ourselves there. Let's continue towards the right in the hopes of finding the forest. Might as well clear out this room real quick. And there we go. We found the boss room, which doesn't help us at all. Except we do get two chests worth of gold. Ooh. And a blood cave, which gives us some lifesteal at the cost of lower max health. That's something we might invest in. I actually really like that uh, item. On certain classes. Certain classes looks terrible. And let's see if we can just cheese our way through these guys. Kill them while they can't hit us. And there is a chest there, which is always nice. There we go. That side of the room is going to be nice and easy. And we got a chicken leg to get back the health we lost in the last room. Good to go. A lot more gold. We are already almost at 1,000 gold, which is fantastic. Okay. Got rid of the ghastly. And there is a chest in this room once again. Chests are fantastic. Now, you guys might be yelling at me, be like, oh, you're, you said you wanted to use your magic more, but on Barbarians, I actually tend to try not to use my magic, so I can use my uh, shout more. So you should be yelling that I am not using my shout enough. Hyperion's Ring, which that is the one that gives us a respawn. I should remember that, because in Borderlands, it's the Hyperion, I think. I think it's the Hyperion Corporation that brings you back to life, but I could be wrong. Okay, so that guy's a jerk. Screw you, Blazelock. Get out of here with your shenanigans. And that archer's dead. I don't understand the obsession with skeleton, skeletal archers in, like, every game ever. I know it's like a very classic thing, but it's such a weird concept. Like if I had to pick one enemy, like one standard undead to be an archer, skeleton is not where I would go. Those headless horses are super trolly. The wolves though, more than anything, it's the wolves that get me in the forest. That one was uh, not very trolly, more on the dumb side, but we do have ourselves a chest up here. And a plonky. So this guy is kind of a pain in the ass. And we got him with a spell out our butts. Took us a lot of tries, but it's okay. And anything down here? Of course, there's a headless horse. But he seemed to be stuck. The headless horses are either super trolly or really, really bad. We got ourselves a... Uh, crazy ass plant and a little bit of a spike ball in our bum and there we go moving onward that room seems terrible I wonder how we can deal with this I cannot believe we didn't take damage there he was our primary concern oh Do the old 
one two switcheroo to get past there and get that chest and let's head on down I'm really really hope Ooh, there's a chest in here I really want the boss actually I wouldn't mind giving the boss a shot on this run that was not good that makes me a little less confident about dealing with the boss Oh, that was a close one. And we got ourselves the Blood Sword. I really think we're probably gonna go, like, build a Lifesteal set. Cause I mean, we're starting to get, like, all the equipment we need to go with a real full Lifesteal set. And, oh, now I am feeling comfortable while going and trying out the boss. Uh, defeat all enemies. What do we have hidden in this place? Uh, some craziness. So... We accidentally popped off the screen, which gets rid of all the gold laying on the ground, so we might as well deal with this room first. And we found the silver bracer, so some more equipment upgrades, always nice. I'm trying to decide, I feel like this room was just going to get us killed. So we're going to head on out of there, and we're going to work our way up. Up and around, up and around. So I would really like to give the boss a shot here. I feel, I don't know why, it's probably a false sense of confidence, but I do feel really good. I feel like we can make it happen, especially if we get a couple more chickens hiding around. There's one, that's really good. And, I mean, if we make it to the boss, there'll be at least one chicken there. So that's something. And this might change my opinions. Nope, we took out that wolf pretty easily. And if that's not a sign... Two wolves in a row without taking damage, that is a sign to me that it's a good day. Is there a third wolf up here? I was waiting for the game to troll the hell out of me with a third wolf. I think we're going to just check through here and just peek around a little bit. See what we got hiding. I don't want to deal with those plants, really. And here's the boss room. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab the chests. Mmm, good old chunks of gold. We've got almost 3,000 gold. And let's just go for it. You know what? Okay, no, let's clear, like, one more room. I want to hit 3,000 gold, then we'll try out the boss. Ooh. And for our uh, persistence here, we're rewarded with a journal entry. I've paid my dues and into the castle proper. The de that devil Sharon has taken all that I own as payments. He's even pilfered my private coffers. I've left my wife and children with nothing. You're a dick. He says it's the price for any and all who hazard the depths of the castle. He says it is fair. It is fair because of all who have entered, none have returned. But I will change that. I will be victorious! There is no greater swordsman than I, even amongst my siblings. I don't know why he gained that voice, but it felt right. It just had to happen. Now, this is that trolly plant room, so I gotta expect the plant balls to be coming down from above. Yep, there's some plant balls. One to land all over my face. Okay. Yeah, that room, I think, was a lot easier to take out from below. So I feel good about our decision. I want to hit that... I really want to hit that uh, 3,000 mark. I'm going to feel good if I can hit the 3,000 mark before doing the boss. And there is a wolf down there. we got to keep that in mind. Probably just going to avoid that wolf. Plus, I mean, anything I can, you know, any chickens I can find would be nice. It would have killed the game to give me a chicken or two. Uh, apparently it's going to let them kill themselves for me. So, I mean, the game is not being... Troll Engine is not fully engaged right now. That's good. Perhaps it feels bad for all the blue baby runs that Isaac has given me. There we are. There are three chests in here. So I think it's definitely worth investing the time and trying to deal with this. So there's one taken down. We got ourselves a knight sword. We have enough mana for a boost or two more, which I will definitely use over the possibility of taking any damage. And I think we can do this without boosting again. Oh, that was close. So we took a little more damage and we used mo most of our mana, but we've hit our... 3,600 actually which is phenomenal and yeah we're gonna do no you know what we said it when we hit 3,000 we do the boss so let's go for it 
I gotta keep an eye out because I think there's gonna be a wolf waiting for me. We took a little bit more damage. I'm less confident about my life now than I was before, which isn't good. But I feel like with the life, with the money we gained out of that, it was totally worth it. So where are we going? We're going down through here. I'm just gonna take a quick peek in here. No chest in that room, so we're gonna move on. And head on to our boss fight. Okay, guys, cross your fingers. Because I'm not excited about this. I swear to God, if you don't cross your fingers, I will be so frustrated and angry. The Forgotten, Alexander. And I'm pretty sure he'll kill me in just a couple hits. I really wish I had lifesteal on this fight. Because he spawns a lot of these little guys. And this is a fantastic fight to use lifesteal on. Because you can constantly kill the little ones for some extra lifesteal. Oh, I don't have enough mana for a foos! And those big ones, when they hit you, they hurt. Like, a lot. So we're gonna take a moment and really focus on crowd control here. We're taking three hits to kill the little ones, which is not good. Not terrible, but not good. He's about to fire, so let's just chill here for a moment. Do a little bit more crowd control. Oh! It's not good. It's not. We're not in a good position, and we have died. But Hyperion's Ring gives us our Death Defy, which gives us a little bit more of a leg to stand on. Not much. We're still real low on the old life front. It's, it's not a good scene, really. Like, it's not a movie I would pay to go see. There it is. But we gave it a shot. We gave the old college try. And uh, we got a ton of money on that run, so that's good. And uh, that's where we're going to end it off. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. But as always, have a great day.